Good afternoon. I'm coming to you this afternoon from the my office at First United Methodist Church in Jasper and just wanted to share a couple of thoughts with you. Uh, first of all, I'm in my office and I'm standing in front of a bookcase that's full of books that give all kinds of information. And those books, along with the Bible, have assured us that from the beginning of time, God has never left us, nor He has never forsaken us. And I just want to assure you that in the midst of a turbulent week, when we come to the end of the week and we've been on an emotional roller coaster, that God is not going to leave us in this situation. He is not going to forsake His people. He never has and He never will. So I want, to, I want you to rest in that assurance that God is, cares for us and He's going to care for His people. So rest in that comfort. Rest in the comfort knowing that, that God is with us. He knows us. He is our shepherd and He will be with us. And secondly, I just want to say a word um, about a discussion that's going around that I've heard a lot about and that's concerning the cause of this coronavirus. I want to assure you first of all that God did not cause this in any way. And I've heard a lot of discussion about uh, the reasons it got started and I don't want to dismiss those as untrue and they might be the facts around what happened to get this virus started and going around the world. But I want to remind you of something, that since the beginning of, of time, since creation, God has anointed, He has ordained, and He has blessed the space in which we gather. From the temple, the tabernacle, and all of its successors, the space that we call sanctuaries, sanctuaries, have been God's anointed place where people come and experience the presence of God. In fact, when, when God said that Jesus was going to be born and He would dwell among us, that word dwell means He's going to tabernacle, He's going to be with us. I believe that gathering in our sacred spaces is holy. It's ordained. We're instructed to do that. And here's what I believe. I believe that anything that closes the door of the church that closes the doors of our church buildings is certainly not of God. And I just want to say very assuredly that it's of Satan. It's evil. Whatever closes the door of our churches so that we cannot gather any longer is of Satan. And we need to come against that. Well, some of these books behind me and uh, the Word of God says that one of the great things Jesus did after He was resurrected is He gave us the same authority that He had while He was on earth. He came to tabernacle with us. Then when He left this earth, He gave us the very same authority that He has, which means we have authority to cast out demons. We have the authority to heal the sick through Him. We also have the authority in His name to call down what is evil, to call down Satan. And if this virus, what closes the doors of our churches, is from Satan, then I believe in Jesus' name and by the authority of His Word that has been given to us, we have the authority to call down the name of this virus and remove it from the earth, to send this virus back to hell where it began. So I want to encourage you as we have this time together in our, in our own sacred spaces, we've created our own sacred spaces, that if, if you're a believer in Christ that you'll just take on the authority that you've been given. You call down this virus. You call down this evil. You remove it from the face of this earth. And we do that together. We'll believe that. And I want you to believe it if you do it. And when you do, give thanks that it is done and that we will soon, very, very soon, be able to open the doors of the churches and gather again. I just want you to know that, that God loves His children. He loves us. And we're going to make it through this together. But I invite you to live by faith and not in fear that God will, yes, 
rescue us from this. He says, we're going to face troubles in this life, but He's overcome the world. So live in the overcoming nature of God Almighty. Thank you. I hope you'll join us um, online, either at our service that will be online, or there'll be many, many services online for you to watch on Sunday. But I invite you to join us, 8.30 or 11, via our website or our Facebook page. I hope you have a good afternoon and a good weekend. Thank you. And let's join together as we call down evil for what it is. Amen.